Hi teachers, um, I'm really excited to share with you this um, technique that I've learned on how to record your comments on um, videos for students and mine are very simple. Mine are used for instruction and for um, helping the students become better writers. And um, so I, the video you just saw earlier with um, Austin's paper, um, you can be done in this exact same format. I just wanted to show you uh, something else that you can do that's very similar and just the process as it goes into doing it. So you can see that it's very easy once you have the hardware and just a couple things to keep in mind is first of all, uh, don't be nervous. You are used to talking to the kids all the time. They're used to you messing up. They're used to you making jokes that fall flat on their face. And, um, you know, they know you're human. So if you make mistakes while recording, just move on. Unless it's like a horrible, horrible mistake, then just keep going. So uh, basically what you want to do is you want to open up your smart notebook. And you do that by going to smart notebook on your start screen. Click it. I've already done that. And up here at the top, you have what's called smart recorder. Once you click that, this little icon will pop up down here. Now you have options. Um, whatever, so this is up, and once you hit record, whatever is up on the screen that you can visually see is going to be recorded. So with that said, what you want to do is you want to go to your um, email address, close it, because um, it keeps that little pop-up thingy from coming up while you record. And then you want to just select what it is that you want to talk to the students about. So since you've already seen me critique a paper, I thought it would be uh, better for us to look at me recording the kids, uh, just, a, just a basic um, instructional video. So I'm going to pull up this, this document on loose versus periodic sentence. This is a grammar technique that we have already gone over. So once I'm ready, I kind of sit here, I prepare my thoughts, and... I'm ready to go. Now you got options. You can record the desktop, which we don't want to do. You can record an area, or you can record the whole window. Um, the window is going to include everything that's down here, whereas the area you can select what you're going to record. So I like to select. So I just want to record this stuff. I don't want them to have to look at the toolbar at the bottom. So, okay. So once I've selected it, as soon as I lift my finger off of the mouse, it's going to start recording, and you have to be pretty much ready to go. All right, so see how the, account, the counter has already begun? So now I would just continue on talking about it. Okay, kids, today we're looking at loose versus periodic sentence. Okay, so we talk about why I would use them. It gives you variation. Readers like this. It changes up your sentence structure. So here's an example. A loose sentence has an independent clause at the first and the dependent clause at the end. Here's the example. Isn't the little baby cute? I could see the anticipation in young child eyes as he tore open his present. So you have the you have the independent clause here at the beginning. We know this is an independent clause because it can stand by itself. I could put a period here and it still makes sense. We know it's a dependent clause because as he tore open his present, doesn't make sense by itself, but we do have it is a it is a clause because it has a subject and a er, as a subject and a verb. Okay? And I would just go on and I would do the same thing with periodic sentence go through and show them the examples, so on and so forth. You'll get the idea. So once I'm done, then I go ahead and click the stop button. Um, just so you know, any time throughout your video, if you needed to hit the pause button, as in you were flustered or somebody came in or the phone rang or whatever, you can hit the pause button. But once you hit the stop button, your video is done. Once your video is done, um, a, little, a little save box is going to come up and it's going to prompt you to save it. Uh, you can save it anywhere. I would highly recommend you saving to the um, to a, a USB drive because these videos are very dense and so they take up a lot of space on your H drive. And I don't know about your school, but at our school, we don't have a whole lot of H drive space, so it seems. And so, um, so I try to reserve that for stuff that I'm using all the time and keeping the videos on a USB drive so we don't take up any unnecessary space. So once I've done that, give it a name. We'll just say loose practice. Say save. Okay, then you'll notice a little progress bar, bar at the bottom. It's going to go through. And it's going to save it. The longer your video is, the longer it takes to save. And then, of course, the shorter it is, the more quickly it'll be ready for you to, um, to play. So this one's pretty short, so it shouldn't take long. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so you've got options. Um, I always click play recording and listen to it to make sure that it did actually pick up on my voice and on the video at the same time for 
um, time purposes here, we're not going to do that. I'm going to say OK. And now it's done. Now, I've got choices. It is saved, and that is good. And so I'm going to want to put it in a place where my, where my students can access it. So I'm going to put it on my website. So, uh, so you log into your website like you always do. And since this is a, a writing assignment, I'm going to put it underneath the, um, I'm going to put this under the, our writing, this is called our writing workshop. So here, you're just going to create assignment like you always would. So I would say loose sentences. Okay, and then we go into the directions. And this is where you actually get to attach it. So you say, just like you would any other document, you go through, I saved it on the USB drive, we called it loose practice, right there, great, open it, say attach, I always put it in a blank, say insert, okay, we're done. Now, something else you need to know before you hit, go ahead and hit save is when we save these documents here at school, they're saved because we're making them on a PC. They're being saved as a Windows movie file. So what I also do is, because a lot of our kids have, you know, we want them to use their devices. A lot of them have iPhones. So Windows movie player will not play on their iPhones. Instead, they use QuickTime. So um, I don't know how to save it. Um, on there. So what I do instead is I go to YouTube and I log on to my YouTube account and I just upload the video. Obviously I would not do this for a student's private paper, but I would do this for a, um, I would do this for, you know, um, you know, group instruction. Okay. So I would just make a little note. If you can't, you can't view the video above. Use the YouTube link below. Okay, and they can go there. And then I would say save. And there we are. They're done. The kids can go to my website. They could go to uh, Writing Workshop. Loose First Periodic Senses is right there. And they can either click on the video or they can do 